Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Continuing our Complete Beginner's Guide. And, well, we've been hiding in this room. And we took a nap. It was late. But I think it's time for us to continue exploring. So, what do we want to do with this character? Well, if we look at the map, all right, we have moved um, ourselves to a location uh, that is safer than where we died. And we want to try to get back to our body, of course. But I think it's going to be harder than I want. Like, I want to rush it. I want to get back there and get everything because we had so many good items that we can use. But to be more intelligent, to plan for the long term, all right, what we need to do is uh, take a step back and just cut our losses. So first, I'm just going to take these sneakers, this empty tin can, and this broken saucepan and just drop these on the ground. I don't need them. Okay? We're going to go ahead and push C to crouch. And I'm going to shrink up the inventories a little bit. And I'm going to open the door. And we're going to go ahead and say, all right, where can we go um, to get some better items to power ourselves up, right? So let's go ahead and keep moving uh, through these homes and see what we can find up top uh, to the north and see if any of these houses are less defended potentially, right? Um, all right, so we have blocked in this front door. And of course, we could just pass time um, here, but let's explore this house a bit. Uh, I will turn on the lights so I can see. And let's just see... What else is in this house that we might want to take before we move out? Mm, we don't need to worry about boredom or books or anything like that. Uh, you know, the, the cook pot is, of course, always good. We have a can opener in our bag. Uh... We have a water container. We have some things to eat. So our character is actually doing surprisingly well in that regard. We're a little bit hungry. So let's just eat one of the food types that we find here. Um, chocolate is great for us to eat. I don't know if I'm going to come back here. But this is a fantastic thing as we talked about. Because it will give us some happiness. And now we are well fed. Alright. So with everything that we've got going for us now. I believe it's probably okay to uh, just do a little exploration outdoors, even though it is nighttime. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we need to click on this. We need to pick up um, this chair. I'm just going to um, put it put it down right there. All right, and we can then um, turn off place mode and open the door. I'm going to hide the inventory for a moment just so I can get a nice, clear view of as much as we can, considering the fact that the visibility is uh, made more difficult by the evening. That goes both ways, though. You know, the zombies should have a harder time finding us. And is there anything... We're here on the map. We could go down here to these homes if we wanted. There's a lot of houses up here. Okay. There's a zombie in the night. That's so fun. All right. Um, all right. So let's just go ahead and uh, bap this guy in the face with our frying pan. And just walk back. All right. He's down. And we smashed him. All right. So there was a zombie waiting for us. Um, And he didn't really have anything great. But it is worth pointing out that, you know... Remember, if you open your map, things can still go bad. Uh, you know what? I wonder if I actually did sleep. I think I, when I saved the game last, I might not have actually slept. 
I might have just boarded myself in but not gone to sleep. So let me go ahead and uh, do that. It'll be easier to get around anyway. You can get around at night in some ways because you've got the cover of darkness, but I just like to, if I can, um, explore in the daytime. Now, there is a bit of time urgency early game in the sense that you want to do as much work getting set up before they turn off um, the power. Okay. Uh, we can take this actually as a backup weapon, that bread knife, um, but we should be fine. I'm going to right click on this. I'm just going to drink. All right. And now we're drowsy, so we can, should be able to sleep. I've turned out the lights. I've boxed us in. Go ahead and close the door. And um, I'll just sleep. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you can see that now it's a, it's a bit easier for us to, to look around. And remember, this house has all this fishing stuff. I might make a note of that before I go. You know, I might say um, something... Um, uh, you know, where I just write down, uh, fishing house and, you know, we just say, okay, just so I can remember to come back here, it's got fish and it's got fishing books if we want to take some time to read them. Um, but I'm not going to worry about leveling up fishing at the moment. I have uh, more important things to take care of. Fishing might be good for, you know food solution as the game progresses but right now food is actually not that hard for us to get uh, but what we want is shelter we just want a safe place now look at the difference it's uh exploring it's like night and day did you see that um okay so we're gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna stand up and you know just get around and run and there's a ton of zombies right there like we had talked about so i'll crouch and this is insane but it is possible that you know um we find something now notice by the way you see how i dropped my garbage bag you can climb this fence but you can't carry the bag over um so it's worth remembering that you can't quite do it as well as you'd like. However, um, there's not that much in my garbage bag. And so if I just um, take my garbage bag and I unequip it, you'll notice that my encumbrance doesn't go up that much because I don't have anything super heavy in there. So I can just keep it as a container, but attempt to climb over this and see how we do, all right? All right, let's see if we can get into this building at all. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can, and this is a cafeteria. All right, so let's just check out. Okay. Well, we're in the school cafeteria here, and uh, nobody's getting lunch right now. So let's just take a look, see what we can find. First of all, we'll definitely find garbage bags, all right, which we want. Remember, we need them for rain barrels. So you want garbage bags for that purpose. Um, I'm going to take the garbage bag, the cockroach, and the dead mouse, um, a little piece of humor that they are in the cafeteria. Um, we won't be taking those. Now let's just see if there's anything... Uh, this door leads to the kitchen. Wow, they really had the um, cafeteria staff fortified well from the students. This might not be, it's almost like a prison, um, but it, you know, it could be a prison for all I know. Um, but it seems like it's a school. I mean, they're kind of, you know, cut from the same cloth. But anyway, um, I'm joking. All right, let's see. Uh, take that garbage bag. 
And it looks like there was a bunch of stuff over here. Yeah, there's a kitchen knife. Okay, so this is a much better weapon for us than the bread knife that we have. Uh, so let's go into our own inventory. Let's go ahead and drop that. And let's get the kitchen knife as a backup weapon. And there's some rotten food. There's some fresh salami, you know. Um, which, you know, we could take that and just have some salami. All right. Twine might be useful for uh, some crafting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this. There's uh, even more stuff here. There's uh, olive oil. There's aluminum. Um, there's potatoes. Uh, gravy, dishes, and another kitchen knife, some pizza. Now we're getting into it. Burritos. It was burrito day on the last day here in the school. All right. So let's kind of zoom out and see what we're dealing with in the hallway. Okay. Another garbage bag. We got five garbage bags. Pretty good. Oh, you can get into their lockers. How about that? Um, not locked. All right, well, this is a regular pen, so let's take that. Uh, so we can mark up our stuff a little bit more. Paper clips, notebooks. Let's see if we find anything unusual in their lockers. There's a beanie hat, but that does not provide any um, protection. Eraser. Here's a blue pen. Yep. Empty notebook. Okay. So, let's take a gander in this classroom. I mean, it looks okay. Alright. Pencil, book pencil. There's a foraging book. That's cool. Uh, Alright, I'll take the regular pencil just for map work. And what's in the teacher's desk? Crosswords. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, the students have it too. The students are like, I'm looking at magazines. Um, so this is a good place to find books, paper, any kind of office supplies, as you, I guess, would expect. Um, but let's see if there's anything you know, more significant that we can find in here. Okay, there is a zombie. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies right there. So that is not good. This room is clean, but we have to be careful. I don't know if, how easily they can break through that door. But that kind of ends, you know, how much I want to investigate in here. I was a little bit, you know, having reservations in the first place about coming in here. But we were able to get some good stuff, and I'm just going to cut my losses. I'm going to check out this shed. The reason is, um, there's just too many zombies. I don't want to deal with that many zombies. And the building is too hard. Oh, there's a slightly smaller fence that we can mess with. The building is too hard for us to deal with otherwise. And secure. So, let's go over here. I know there was a zombie down here. What does that mean? Key words being was. So, maybe we can actually get by this zombie without bothering them. Alright, we don't have the key, so it's not easy for us to try to get in there. So, let's just move on. If I had a crowbar, maybe. We don't. I'm going to go ahead and run. And just jump. Okay. Now, let me just remind myself where I'm at on the map. I am here, and we haven't really gone into these houses. I think it's because they were too well guarded, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this house has um, 
a zombie that exploded out of it, but they also have a shed. So I'd love to see if we can get in this house. Or at least the shed. Alright, so as always, I am just going to... Looks like they have a volleyball net in their backyard. Huge volleyball enthusiasts. I'm um, just take a look around and... Okay, there's a... There's a zombie right there. How about that? That'll scare the, the dickens out of you. All right. So they're going to be actually occupied with that door. So if we can get in some other way, we can get the drop on them. But first, let's just see if we can get in the shed and it's locked. All right. So let's just responsibly look around. And yeah, there's a ton of zombies in that next yard. And this zombie actually has already seen us. Um, because we're so conspicuous and is coming. So let's deal with that. So we'll just get nice and prepared for this zombie. And it's over. Okay. Um, nothing that we need. Fine. Zoom out, just make sure nobody else saw that. There's a bajillion zombies over there. Bajillion is a technical counting term for many zombies. Um, it's, it's the scientific community has really embraced the bajillion. Okay, so now we're in, and I'm going to just sneak through, and there's actually a bunch of zombies in here. So this is uh, not good, so I'm just going to leave. Um, there's too many zombies in there to make it worthwhile. I don't want to fight two zombies in, a, in an enclosed space like that. I could open the door and take on one zombie, you know. But if this door is locked, that also makes it harder. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, so... That guy might eventually get through. Um, but in the meantime... This episode should be about cutting your losses. We're cutting our losses with respect to trying to immediately rush back and get our body. We're also cutting our losses um, by just abandoning the school and abandoning that house and just realizing that there's plenty of places that we can go that aren't as defended. So right now, I'm just luring out one zombie at a time because we can handle that. Okay. This guy is quite formidable. He is one tough zombie. And we killed him outright. Uh, okay. Now, what we should do is just check our frying pan, and the condition is still really good. So check the condition bar on your weapon so you don't have a saucepan incident like we did before. All weapons are going to degrade, some faster than others. And you don't want them to break right in the middle of you trying to fight. Because that's just embarrassing. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of zombies. Alright, so we're not really going to easily trick one zombie at a time right there. So let's keep moving north and see if we can find a house up here to try to get some better equipment with less zombies. Now there's zombies guarding this way and that way, okay? Um, and there's zombies in the school and they've spotted us. So at this point we could say, okay, um, there's zombies here, there's zombies here, and there's zombies here. So remember what I said about cutting our losses. This whole area is actually too infested for me to 
want to pursue. I'm going to go down here and check in the um, dumpster. And nothing great. You know, we can take a uh, smashed bottle as a weapon, but you can see the condition is really bad. We can take another garbage bag, which I will take. Okay. So now we need to say, all right, there's zombies. Um, I should actually also make a note that there's, um, you know, zombies over here as well. So let's move back to where we died with, with our first character and continue exploring this area because it feels like it's a little bit safer. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Uh, we're gonna get hot eventually. Our character is actually already sweating, yep. So let's go into a house and get something to eat and take care of our thirst before we move on to the south. And this is just kind of what you have to do. You have to be smart, and keep moving to find more favorable situations for yourself. We can drink. And I'm going to check the inventory here. There's some canned peaches, canned mushroom soup. A griddle pan. We could actually probably hit people in the face with that pretty successfully. Um, there is some cereal, which, you know, I can eat half of the box of cereal here. And get rid of our hunger and keep moving. And we do want to fortify. We definitely want to try to fortify a base for our character, but we just aren't finding... A place to do that well there's glue inside that toolbox that's okay but not great i want a two-story home and so i'm willing to be patient and accept um, us looking a little bit more on the map to find a good place to fortify as well as making sure that we can get the right supplies we're going to need a saw we're going to need a screwdriver. Um, I did explore this house, right? Yep. And we're going to need a hammer. So let's look for those things, but in a way that's safe. Now, you do have the option, of course, of going ahead and using something like an alarm clock to try to lure some zombies away and make a path to your body, get your stuff back that way. I'm not going to do that um, because I don't know how viable it would be, how permanent it would be, how easy it would be. There's a zombie right there. She's not doing great, but she's still up. So we're going to have to kind of see if we can take her out and we can sift through some of the supplies that we've already found at this base. Yeah, here she comes. She has, like, glasses on. At first I thought they were goggles. Oh, okay, we got her. And I want you to notice that one of the things that I did right there was I swung too early. I got the timing a little off with my frying pan. Um, but instead of trying to swing again, I just pushed spacebar to push. And it knocked her down and just won the fight for us right out. So remember that the push is just such a phenomenal way to win. Okay, so we've got a bunch of planks in here. We've got this pot that will collect rainwater for us. And is there anything that we left on the ground that we think is uh, usable for this character that we might want? Not really. Not really. No problem. All right, so this is where we are on the map. We're here. Let's go ahead and try to get this house done. 
if possible. I'm going to just shrink this up. I'm going to close the inventory altogether. And I'm going to look around. Oh, yeah, this is the house. We've looked in this house. This is the hilarious Scarecrow house. My buddy Gaidon was talking about how, like, or Gidon was talking about these scarecrows. It's not a zombie, it's a scarecrow, but it it scares me. I'm not even a crow. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, okay, interesting. It has a house alarm. Alright, so when the house alarm happens, you run. Zombies are going to be coming from a good bit to get to that house alarm, but that's actually okay. Uh, that means that maybe we can lure some zombies from some other zones out of here, and we can get into these houses more easily. We'll see. The, the house alarm is very audible, as you notice... And you just want to abandon ship. You don't want to try to go in and, like, you know, do anything with it. Okay, here comes somebody. I'm just going to run through the trees so I can see this. Oh, there's a few zombies. Okay, no problem. Let's just do one at a time. We got it down. Okay. Uh, and I think that's my zombie. I think this is our first character right here that we're fighting. I'm going to run just a little bit. This is really annoying that my character just will not fall. It, okay, now that now my zombie is dead. And it should just kind of also uh, showcase how bad this weapon is that we have. I could probably just switch to the knife and do better damage. Alright. But we also dispatched them. And, you know. As usual, nothing great on zombies, but... Oh, here comes another one. My goodness. So the house alarm did pull up, yeah, the house alarm pulled a ton in, and it was supposed to pull them to the house, but apparently we made too much of a ruckus, and they're all coming for us. So, well, this is what you happens when you get a house alarm. There's two zombies, okay, and they're kind of close, so I'm actually going to go right through here. And see if we can lose one of them. In the trees. Okay, you see the zombie with the hat coming? Alright, so that's actually okay. I don't mind. Um, I don't mind one of them. Okay. And let's just take care of this. Okay, quick. Step on him. Got it. Alright. Can I have your baseball hat? We sure can. Got a hat. By the way, there's no reason to do this. Um, it's just funny to take the guy's hat. Alright, here comes uh, another one. And you see how the trees, like, it didn't completely stop her. Or them, or whatever, but it slowed this zombie enough so that we could take this, the fight one-on-one, -on -one, which is all I really needed. Mm-hmm. All right, finally. Okay. Um, 
take to watch. You know, this polo neck sweater, that's so funny. It, it pr helps your scratch defense a little bit. Um, but it, it's hot. And we're, like, sweating because we ran. Uh, we're thirsty. So let's go get somebody to drink. Again, something else I want to do is I'm just going to check the condition of my frying pan. You can see that the kitchen knife does more damage than the frying pan. Um, and the only real reason that I'm used to continuing to use the frying pan is because we do have some training uh, with our character in uh, short blunt. And you can see we're like leveling it up. So, you know. That's like a slight consideration. Oh boy. All right, let's drink. There we go. Okay, so we got... What is it, a TV on? Um, all right, it's life and living. Okay, we'll turn it off. Okay. All right. And let's go back to where we were. We're getting a little peckish. That's fine. Um, I can just eat this cereal box. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I mean, who doesn't like cereal? And we're well fed and we're rolling. You see, again, our encumbrance goes up to 14 for a bit. I'm going to stop running because it's too hot. It is 91 degrees outside. It is like a scorcher of a day. Uh, so, running with this many clothes on, bad idea. But I do like to get around a little faster and train my athletics, if possible. And by athletics, I mean, um, you know, sprinting. Oh, there's another zombie there. There's two zombies. Man, I tell you what. It's a good lesson to dirty bandage on our dead zombie. How about that? That's awesome. Uh, this is fine. This is easy for us to do. And this guy's got a pair of scissors kind of sticking out of him, which we could get if we wanted. And, you know, this is... The house alarm brought a bunch of zombies over, but it also potentially could give us a spot where we can like slowly as you see here work through this yep there's the scissors uh, not a very good weapon work through this group and level up our skills a little bit but also maybe free up some some things it looks like that tree was shaking is there somebody back there do i need to be concerned about the zombie <laughs> i know there was a second zombie Oh, no, now there's three zombies. Okay. So the house alarm pulled all those over. And what is our lesson for the day? Just backing off. Accepting that that area got too hot. The heat, the heat got cranked up over there. So let's instead move over this way. I know there's some zombies here. I'm going to crouch. See if we can get by. There's um, two zombies looking at that home. Okay. Hopefully they don't see us. One does. Okay, that's okay. I'll just walk it back. And just take it down. And we're getting a good lesson today in just careful combat as well. Just being very mindful and going nice and slow. Trying to fight as much as possible, like one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. When they get knocked down, get that stomp going. Check all around. Okay. And then now it's just us and this zombie. Hopefully, let me just double check to make sure that that is the case. It appears to be. 
And here comes this zombie. So I like to zoom in to get a better look at the combat. Make sure that my orientation is correct. They're coming in at a weird angle. Oop. Okay. I don't want to... I want to back them away from the fence because... You know, I don't want to... Um, okay get backed up into the fence and have no no more space. Okay, here comes another one. Okay, and let's just make sure that's it. It looks like to be the case. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a nice chop right off the get-go. And we step on that zombie's crotch until it's destroyed. Problem solved. Kind of. Okay, uh, so, did we clear out enough zombies from this area? Any zombies in here? Back here into the little log cabin. Are you dead? I mean, I hope so. Yeah, that's actually just stuff I dropped on the ground, I think. All right, so it's getting, we're getting a little tired. And it's 8 o'clock. So when this happens, it is, without question, time to bail. It hasn't cooled down significantly. It's still a hot day. But I'm going to go sleep in the same house we already slept in. And we're just going to continue trying to work up this way of the map. We've really done a good job of examining some potential options that we could take. Like potential paths we could take with this character and cutting our losses so that we don't have hubris get us and being patient. We can, we still have plenty of time to find a base. We still have plenty of time before they turn off the water and they turn off the power, things like that. And I'm gonna go all the way back um, to here because uh, this home wait this isn't the home I went too far oh I haven't even explored that home that's cool I went one house too far let's just curl around down here Yep, yep, yep. This is our house. Okay, we close the door. And we're going to pick this chair right here up. And I'm just going to put the chair back in front of the door. Push tab. Left click to set it down. And we're going to leave placement mode. And it is 930. Close the door. Make sure the lights are out. And uh, our character is sweaty and drowsy, so it's sleep. Yes. Fantastic, and it's raining. So it's a rainy day, okay, which has another uh, set of concerns. You can get sick from being out in the rain, things like that. It's it's adverse weather, uh, but it also fills up your rain barrels or any pots that we put out to fill us, give us water. So that's awesome. It's 5.50 a.m. and we're stocked up. We're ready to go. And we're going to continue. I think the best plan for us is to say um, that, you know, I'm going to leave a note for myself right here, which is just kind of like... Uh, explore here so that we know like this is where uh, we want to go for next time okay and also uh, I want to you know put an exclamation well there, I guess there were a bunch of zombies there which is why I didn't go into that house so maybe they've moved on but we could check that out and we'll get into that next time everyone 
we stayed alive the whole time and we are just being patient so that we can survive this zombie apocalypse. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.